In this video, I'll show you how you can fix Valorant Val 43 error code. Now, first step is you want to open up the task manager. In here, go to details, sort by the name. In here, press R and look for right client and make sure you end the task. After that, press V and look for Valorant. Now, you don't need to close down the Vanguard, but look for Valorant and then end the task. After that, what you want to do is come here and search for run. Type in percentage local app data percentage and press OK. Then in here, what you want to do is you want to look for Riot Games right here. Open it up and then in Riot Games, you want to open up Riot Client. In Riot Client, what you want to do is you want to find config. And what you want to do is you want to delete Riot Client Settings YAML. So click on this and delete it. After you've done that, you want to come back to local and then you want to find Valorant. So let's look for it, the Valorant, then go into saved, then go into config. And then what you want to do is you want to find the crash report client, open it and delete everything in here. Once you've done that, come back to saved and then you want to head into logs, delete everything in here as well. Once you've deleted everything in here, you can just close it down. Come here and search for services, open it up, press anywhere and press V, find VGC, double click, put it on automatic, press start. And once this is done, you want to press apply and OK. Now that we're done this, what you want to do is you want to come down here and search for CMD, right click, run as an administrator. It should look like this. And in here you want to type IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Then you want to type nest, net sh space winsock space reset and press enter. And then simply what you want to do is you want to just restart your PC and now it should hopefully work. If for some reason it's still not working, there's two last solutions that you might want to try. The first one is you want to log out of your account and then try and log back in and see if that works. Now the other one is you have to find your router inside your home and then unplug the power to it for a few seconds and then replug it so it's going to restart. Now, I really hope any of these helped fix the issue. If they did, please leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching.